hi guys and welcome to my channel today i am going to show you how to make this padded bra or slash camisole so guys let's get started so the first measurement we're going to need is our quarter of a bust round circumference and mine is nine inches so i am going to draw a square of around nine by nine inches once I am done marking a square of 9 by 9 inches, I am going to divide it into 4 equal parts and mine is 4.5 inches. Next thing is to label our lines. The first one is under bust, bust point line and the top one is chest line. This one I'm going to call it center front. So right in the middle line or the line, the under bust line, I'm going to mark half inch. Then I'm going to divide the top square by four equal parts as shown on the screen. Then once I am done, now it's time for us to create the cup. So right at the bottom, I'm going to mark one inch on both sides and then connect it to that one inch that we've marked Once we are done doing so, right on the center point, I am going to first mark half an inch right on the bust point line, go down half an inch, just to create a armhole. And also right on the center front line, I am going to mark half of an inch and create a neckline. Once we are done, we want to make sure that we create the cups by actually creating a curved line as shown on the screen on both sides. So guys, we are done with our cup. The next thing we need to do is just to extend the band. So you, I added the band by three inches. Yours can be four inches. So basically it's from the under bust to the waist. So mine is three inches. So once you're done marking the three inches, we want to extend the dot all the way to the uh, band. And then now we want to move on to creating the bend of the bra. So you take a quarter of your bust round circumference and then you subtract one inch because the bend has to be a bit smaller than the actual bust of or the front part of the bra. So the width of my band is going to be 5.5 inches and I'm going to connect it all the way to the armhole as shown on the screen. So going back to the first square, I am going to write on the waist, I'm going to mark half an inch in and connect it all the way to the armhole. So that small part, I'm just going to cut it off. It's not going to, we're not going to make use of it. So I'm just going to cut it off. Now, because I want to uh, se separate the band from the cradle or the frame, I'm going to mark one inch. And then this is going to be the band. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out my pattern. First, I'm going to remove that one inch and then later on join the band and the cradle again together. And then go ahead and cut out that one inch marking mat and then separate the cups from the cradle. Don't forget to close the dot of the cradle also. Now, as for the cups, I am going to cut times two, meaning for both sides of the bra. Now, adding our seam allowance, I went ahead and I added uh, 0 0.5 centimeters because we don't need too many seam allowance onto our bra. So I added it on the cup right on the dot, also at the bottom, except the sides okay so when you do close the cup together this is how it's going to look it is going to fit perfectly so right on the armhole um, never i didn't add seam allowance simply because we are going to be using a fold over elastic but if you're not using a fold over elastic please add seam allowance of around 0 0.5 centimeter so also at the bottom i'm also going to use a fold over elastic that's why we didn't add any seam allowance 
now going to the band on the band i only added seam allowance right on the side because we are going to join it together with the cradle so that's why we only added on the side and on top i didn't add seam allowance including the bottom I didn't add seam allowance so guys this is our pattern so the next thing guys please stay tuned for part two where i show you how to sew this bra together